Hello, and welcome to the first year of WWE's ECW, the show where we take a look back at the first 52 episodes of WWE's re-envisioning of Extreme Championship Wrestling. Paul Heyman opens up the show tonight and tells us that yes, it's true. Much to my chagrin, last week Rob Van Dam did win the right to pick the date and place when he faces the big show for the title. This past week on ECW.com, Van Dam named December 3rd, 2006, ECW's next pay-per-view, December to Dismember, as the date and place. Now, conspicuous by its absence in the contract happen to be stipulations that this match will be contested under. Those stipulations fall under my good judgement. Therefore, on December 3rd, 2006, RVD and Big Show will be two of six competitors in an Extreme Elimination Chamber match for the ECW World Title. Being the 31st of October, this episode is a Halloween special. What does that mean? Well, basically it means the graphics are going to have a Halloween theme to them. Plus, maybe they'll put a few pumpkins around the arena. We'll have to see about that one, probably not even that. As you can see by these questionable tombstone graphics, our main event for this evening is going to be RVD teaming up with Hardcore Holly to take on the team of Big Show and Test. What better way to kick off this Halloween episode with a guy cosplaying as a vampire? Kevin Thorne is taking on ECW original Sabu in an Elimination Chamber qualifying match. In 20 episodes of this series, I've not mentioned this yet. I don't know why, but hearing Kevin Thorne's theme always gets me pumped up. <laughs> Gotta love a bit of vampire gothic techno. Also, we have a new entrance stage design. Gone is the brick wall, and now here is the new one that's just lights. And yeah, I don't really know how to describe it, to be honest with you. Fawn is getting his ass handed to him by Sabu at the start of this match. Eventually, Fawn catches Sabu off the ropes and hits a spine buster, but only gets a two. Everybody's favourite, Ariel, gets involved at one point when Sabu is on the middle rope. This distraction allows Fawn to take him out with a clothesline. Fawn runs at Sabu in the corner but hits the post head first. Sabu then catches Fawn with a beautiful DDT from the ropes. Sabu later launches himself over the top rope, crashing down on Fawn. He then locks in a camel clutch for the win. Sabu advances to the ECW title match at December to Dismember. Sandman is being interviewed by Rebecca again this week, promoting his potential involvement in the Cyber Sunday match against Umaga. Sandman says it looks like the WWE fans have put their votes in. They want to see a fight. They want to see blood. A clown then appears on screen and honks a horn. Sandman tells Rebecca to hold on one minute. He then beats the shit out of the clown with the Singapore cane. When Sandman returns, Rebecca looks petrified. Sandman is laughing and says he hates clowns, even if it is Halloween. We are then told that coming up a bit later tonight, we've got Ariel, Kelly and Trinity in a costume contest. Before returning to the action, Taz says he's got Joey Styles a Halloween present. Joey pulls a noose out of the bag. Right. Moving on. Davari makes his way down to the ring accompanied by the great Carl Lee. Davari starts speaking in a foreign language, but I assume he's insulting the crowd as Hills do. Great Carl Lee towers over tonight's opponent, punk rock poser Shannon Moore. Then Davari attacks Moore. The bell rings and we're underway. As Davari gets the better of Shannon Moore, Joey Styles says that we can only assume that Davari and Carl Lee are now a part of the ECW brand. Brilliant. I mean, that's going to make these episodes more enjoyable. Ugh. Oh. This match was okay, but I prefer Taz's impression of Carly. Well, could you imagine oh. Carly knocking on your door saying, Take a treat and I'll have some chocolate. Davari hits his finisher and wins the match. Carly then enters the ring and chokeslams Shannon Moore. I mean, we knew it was over for Shannon Moore after the CM Punk bitch slap, but this might be the final now in the coffin that Moore is never going to be anything more than a jobber on the brand. Being a jobber is fine, by the way. Not everyone can be a superstar. The thing that baffles me about the Shannon Moore situation is that he spent nearly two months building him up with vignettes and then make him look like a right knob. Rebecca is back for the second time tonight, interviewing RVD. RVD is making sure his eye contact is on point after last time. Rebecca asks RVD what his reaction to the announcement Paul Heyman made earlier this evening. RVD says, well, we're dealing with Paul Heyman. It's Halloween time trick or treat. Paul Heyman just pulled another trick on me. Extreme Elimination Chamber? I don't even know what that is. Sounds like something I'll be pretty good at though. Here's how it goes. I'm going to walk into this match a challenger and I will walk out a champion. RVD's tag team partner for the night, Hardcore Holly, then appears on screen and says, 24 stitches, 12 inch scar across my back, 
because of your extreme style. How ironic is this? Tonight, I've got your back. The three girls competing in tonight's costume contest make their way to the ring. Kelly Kelly, Trinity and Ariel. Justin Roberts then explains the rules. One by one, each girl will show off their costume and then the fans will decide the winner based on their applause. First up is the sexy mama seat at Trinity. Let's see what she's got. Ay ay ay. Not exactly a costume, she's just got caution tape around her tits. But it's getting a vote from me regardless. Ariel is up next and there are no surprises here as she is wearing what she usually wears. Justin Roberts says, Ariel, you don't seem to be dressed any differently. Ariel snatches the mic out of his hands and says, this is not a costume. I dress like this every day. Right then. Lastly, it's everybody's favourite exhibitionist, Kelly Kelly. She's come dressed as her favourite wrestler, CM Punk. I like how the crowd seem genuinely disappointed that Kelly isn't getting a knockers or arse out on TV. It's now voting time. Trinity gets a loud cheer from the crowd. Ariel gets mostly booed. And Kelly Kelly hardly gets any reaction. Justin Roberts then announces the rightful winner, Trinity. You can't argue with that. Before Trinity can celebrate, Mike Knox comes down to confront Kelly's costume choice. Out of nowhere, Punk shows up and manages to get some revenge against Knox for last week's attack. When Knox gets knocked out of the ring, he once again runs back to the curtain. After the commercial break, Mike Knox appears on the screen. He says, you people enjoy that? You enjoy everything that's been going on between me and CM Punk? CM Punk, you can't hide from this fight anymore. I'm issuing a challenge. Next week, CM Punk versus me, Mike Knox. Main event time. Former foes Rob Van Dam and Hardcore Holly team up to take on Test and The Big Show. This was a good match. It started off pretty even, but towards the end, Big Show and Test are in firm control. Big Show goes for a splash from the middle rope, but Holly manages to roll out of the way. You would think that Big Show might have learned that everybody rolls out of the way of that move and stopped doing it. RVD then gets the tag and goes on a mad one, chopping down the Big Show, then taking Test off the apron and hitting a top rope move to the 500 pound giant. Van Dam hits Rolling Thunder and goes for the pin, but Test breaks it up. Holly avoids a clothesline from Test, which then takes the referee out instead. Holly hits an Alabama slammer on Test and then shortly gets taken out by the Big Show. RVD delivers a kick from the top rope to Show, who then rolls to the outside. RVD sends the champion headfirst into the ring post. As RVD is sizing up the Big Show for another move on the steps, a man in a gorilla costume attacks RVD with a lead pipe from behind. Big Show then chokeslams RVD and gets the free count to win the match. The gorilla celebrates with Big Show and Test in the ring before taking off the mask to reveal Paul Heyman. This was a fun, entertaining Halloween edition of ECW. The only real negative I can think of is the Davari Kali match against Shannon Moore. Otherwise, everything else on the show was fine. I'm going to give episode 21 of ECW a decent 3.5 out of 5 stars. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.